Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm starting a new video series on Rust programming language and for this is going to be complete and comprehensive guide to learning Rust Lang. Along with that, if you can uh, uh, follow the official guidebook here, which you see on my screen, along with the videos, then it's more than enough and uh, it will be complete and comprehensive guide in becoming a professional rust developer and so without uh, we're taking any further time let's get started with today's video in this video we'll go through installation and the setup part first and then we will uh, build our first hello world program and then we are going to have a look at the uh, cargo build tool so basically this uh, cargo tool it's a uh, npm equivalent of rust so if you have ever worked with uh, javascript you know about npm so it's a uh, similar to what we have in rust called cargo so if you are window if you are on uh, linux or mac you can go ahead and just run this simple command so so basically for, so this is going to pull a script from internet and for run that so it will install the rust compiler and the, the other build tools like cargo and uh, rust up all those tools it will install with the standard installation so let me just copy this and run i think it copied the dollar symbol as well so if i run this it will pull the script from internet and install so it's asking for these three options so i'll select the first one proceed with installation okay so it says rust is installed now if you already have the rust uh, compiler installed on your system and you are not sure whether it is updated or not so you can just go ahead and run this command rust up update and if your rust tool or the rust c compiler is not up to date it will just go ahead and update it so with that being out of the way let's go ahead and write our first hello world program so i'm going to create a new directory for all the rust code i'm going to write in this video series let me name it as rust projects so by the way we are also going to build few projects along uh, along the way uh, going through this videos uh, so just keep that in mind as well rest projects oh, let me cd into that okay so let me go ahead and create a new folder called hello world now i'm going to open the vs code here oh, by the way you can use any other id as well i'm using vs code if you want you can also use the same I'm going to create a main file here so like any other programming language it needs a entry point so which is our main.rs currently and also it will need a main function like in C or C++ you have main functions similarly in Rust you have a entry point function called main so to declare the main function what you need to do you need to say fn so in rust you have to uh, declare the function with keyword fn instead of the complete word function so fn then main curly braces and then not curly braces parentheses and then curly braces and inside this i'm going to write hello world on the screen so for that you have a println macro so mem so macros are for different from functions and to identify so whether you are calling a macro or a function you have to look for this bank symbol the exclamation symbol if it is there after the a function name then it means it's a macro and not a function so what are macros and how to read them we'll discuss in future videos so in this video i'm just going to print hello world from this macro let's say print ln hello world and a semicolon that's it so that's our hello world a program in main uh, i mean rust lang so let me go ahead and compile this to compile this i we have to give rust c and main.rs so once that is done it will create a file called dot uh, main 
not dot just main so this is a, a, a binary executable which you can execute so if i execute this it will print a hello world on the screen so now we have installed rust and we have also run the first hello world uh, program now let's go back and have a look at uh, a cargo tool which comes installed with the rust installation so if you installed rust like i sh showed you in this video you will also have something called cargo installed on your system to check if it is installed just run the following command uh, cargo version if it is installed it will show it uh, something like this so now you have uh, cargo installed so with cargo you can create a new project and you can also build with a cargo command your projects and to do that let me go ahead and create a new project say hello rust or hello cargo so what i'm going to do i'm going to run this command cargo new and the project name hello cargo so it will create a new folder called hello cargo i'm going to go inside this and open the vs code quickly I'm going to okay so as you can see inside this hello cargo folder we have one src folder inside this we'll have main.rs so this is the structure which cargo follows and in the root directory we have something called a cargo.toml file apart from that we also have a git ignore file so, so so when you build a new project with cargo it assumes that you are going to use git as the version control system but you can for delete this file if you are using some other version control system but that is fine so so what does this uh, toml file contain so first of all as you can see it declares a package with, with the name hello cargo version edition and here you can see we have uh, one more uh, keyword called dependency so here under this we will have all the dependencies used by our, our program since with, with, this is going to be a simple hello world uh, program so we don't have any dependencies we can go ahead and close this now uh, coming to main.rs so it has the same uh, function main print ln and then hello world so whatever we wrote uh, previously now let me show you how to build this uh, program with a cargo command so what do you need to do you just need to type cargo build it will start for building and it will run not run it will just build your program and put your binary in this directory so you will have something called target then debug and then hello curve apart from that you will also see other folders are also being created so 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 what are they and so what do they mean we'll discuss in the future video but for now just understand that so when you run a cargo build it will check if the files have changed and build a new binary every time so if i run this program again it's not going to build again because we haven't made any good changes in the main.rs file so yeah now if you want to run you can run in the same way go to uh, target then a target debug and then our hello cargo binary so it will run and print hello world to the screen now if you want to build and run uh, the a, a program in the single command then what you can do you can simply do cargo run so what it will do it will first build your binary and then run see so first it build and then it ran our program hello world so in this video we first installed rust c compiler and other build tools which comes with uh, the standard installation of rust and then we wrote our first hello world program and also we discussed about cargo how to create a new program new project with cargo and run and build the project so these three things we discussed today in this video and uh, the guide which if you want to follow the official guide from rust what you can do is you can run this command rust up um, docs hyphen hyphen book so with this command it will open the offline version of the book in your browser as you can see it is using the file protocol 
and here you can follow the official guide so we have the same thing here so what, so what you see in the first tab but this is uh, served locally and here you can see all the installation steps or whatever we followed hello world hello cargo the same example which i showed you so if you are interested you can follow this uh, guide as well along with the videos and so this is all you need uh, trust me so this is more than enough and by the end of this course you will be a master in poor wrestling a programming language and you can take your career ahead with this language so yeah that's all for this video in the next video we'll we'll discuss a common programming concepts as you can see in the chapter 3 we are i'm, I'm going to we'll discuss this chapter in the next video and after that we'll come to the second ch chapter so i think that's the and a natural flow which i follow while learning a new programming language so first i will cover this programming concept then we are going to build a simple casing game okay so that's all for this video see in the see you in the next one until then bye bye